All right, let's look at 1.3. So 1.3 is one of these like model interpretation questions. I hate these questions because I'm not so good at seeing 3D, but we will persevere. The fold-up chair is a beach chair that folds into itself. A 3D sketch there, a side view there, and a materialist there, uh, the sim uh, and the assembled chair and a folded chair are shown. Oh, okay, so there's an assembled one and there's a folded one. So this is like a beach chair, right? Um, so I don't spend too much time looking at this until I look at the questions because the questions help you understand what you need to see, right? Like, so don't stress. When I see this, it gives me heart palpitations, but let's rather just go into the question and do what we need to do. So use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Write down the total number of wooden items needed to assemble this chair. Okay, so when I'm looking at the total number, you should be thinking, okay, we'll go to the material list because the material list is going to tell us, right? So go here, material list. You'll see here this little hashtag. I hope you know this, but it means number. Oh, I spelled number with an N. <laughs> okay, so it's saying four of those, 13 of those, and one of those. So we just add all of those together, four plus 13 plus one. Okay, um, 4 plus 13 plus 1. Do it in your calculator if you need to, but it is 18, right? So it is 18 items. Okay, great. Let's move on to the next one. Then it says, determine the number of cross pieces found on the seat, right? So when I was preparing for this video, I did this question incorrectly because I thought it was talking about the chair back. But it's talking about the seat, okay? So firstly, and then it says, so uh, found on the seat of three chairs. So you can't just be like, mm, this is how many you need for one. So let's count here. Uh, it's probably easier to look here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six cross pieces for one chair. But then I need to times that by three because I need three chairs, right? So you're going to say six times three means I need 18 cross pieces. Okay. And because it's a three mark question, please show this, right? You see it's a three mark question? Show this because they will get a mark for that. Okay. Name the item in the material list with the longest dimension. Okay. So here's the material list. Let's look here for the longest dimension. I think it's at 66. 66 belongs to the chair support. Easy enough. Chair support. That was easy peasy. Okay. Identify which dimension of the chair support will support the thickness, will represent, sorry, the thickness of the wood. Okay, so there's the chair support. Um, and here's the dimension. So generally, the thickness of the wood is going to be your smallest dimension, right? So thickness is like this, then you're going to have the uh, length like that and then you I mean you're gonna have the width like that and then you're gonna have the length across so the thickness is generally gonna be the smallest kind of makes sense because it's the same across so I'm gonna say one comma nine right so that's just like a common knowledge thing you could be saying oh but I said 3.8 it's just because the thickness is generally the lowest dimension when it comes to planks of wood okay so just something to note there um one comma nine and don't just say one comma nine you have to say the measurement centimeters okay right let's now move on to our last question here we are flying write down in millimeters important the length of the spacing between the cross pieces of the back of the chair okay now we only see that in this one here okay so do you see that it says one comma two seven centimeter spacing between each of the cross pieces of the back of the chair so we can start with one comma two seven uh, centimeters right but it asks for it in millimeters so what we need to do is we actually need to times it by 10 right because that's how we go from centimeters to millimeters okay and that's going to be 12 comma seven millimeters okay so important here just to work carefully start with one um comma two seven times by 10 write your answer remember your units and then you're done okay let's move on to question two